Hello learners, welcome to this another session on CFD program that is Certificate in Fashion Design. We have covered the course uh, block 1 of this program, uh, course 2 which is basics of pattern making and sewing. Today we will be uh, discussing about the block 2 uh, which is basics of sewing techniques and we will be discussing the unit 5 of this particular block which is titled as handling of sewing machine. So let us uh, uh, point out what all points we will be discussing in this particular session. So the in today's session we will be discussing about the types of sewing machine and different parts of sewing machine and their functions. So uh, as in the block 1 we have covered all 4 units which were based on basics of pattern making. So we have discussed how we develop pattern, how we develop different, what are different methods of pattern development and uh, how we will proceed for the garment construction. So the most important point or thing what comes uh, next is to know about the sieving techniques and sieving um, uh, methods how we uh, stitch the garment. So first important thing we should know is the sieving machine which is the basic tool we need to construct a garment. So uh, in this particular session we will discuss about uh, the types of sieving machine, how many types of machines are there which we can use for the construction of garment and what are different parts of that sieving machine which we should know for the proper function or proper use of the sieving machine. So this uh, unit of this particular blog uh, two of your course is uh, title as handling of sieving machine. So when we talk about the handling of sieving machine, why this uh, it is very important to study and what all information you will get from after studying this particular unit. So uh, when you go through this unit and discuss what all things are important, you will list and describe the parts of single needle lock stitch machine. Like it is uh, there well in the later part we will discuss that there are different types of sieving machine. So when you will go through this unit you will be able to know and you will list all and you can uh, know very well the what single needle lock stitch machine is and about its different parts. And you can identify its various parts of sieving machine and understand their function. Like there are when you if you have seen or if you now you will see a sieving machine, you will see there are different parts of the sieving machine. So when you uh, go through this unit after studying, you can uh, correlate and you can easily understand what all different parts are there and what its important functions are. So after uh, going through this unit, you can list and describe different parts of sieving machine which uh, we use at our home, it is said as single needle lock stitch machine and then you can identify and know the function of that particular part of the machine. So first let us discuss how many types of machines are there. So uh, types of sieving machine when we say rapid uh, development in the sieving technology have introduced a wide variety of sieving machine because in the garment industry or in the fashion industry which we can say it is the very wide and very frequently developing uh, industry. So with the very rapid development in the sieving technology and there are different because uh, we have to produce numbers of garments or numbers of we have to develop different fashions uh, very rap uh, frequently and very rapidly we can we have to develop. So with the development of the uh, uh, sieving technology we have introduced a wide variety of sieving machines because in the earlier time we only had the single needle lock stitch machine which we use at our home or uh, which we have at the tailor's place. But with the advancement of technology we have different machine very high speed machine which uh, involves less energy human energy and they produce they are they produce lots of uh, product in less time. 
So there are mainly three types of sieving machine we uh, have, namely we use the hand operated machine, we use the treadle machine and we have the electric or motorized sieving machine. So first let's discuss what is hand operated sieving machine. As you can see in the picture and if you have seen the sieving machine you can correlate and know the, that the name of this particular type of machine is the hand operated sieving machine. So this is the one of the oldest form and very uh, we can say now for in the present context we can say this is the slow machine we can say and because it is the oldest form of the machine. Then it is operated by hand using the hand uh, handle you can see in the picture a handle is attached uh, near the balance wheel. So handle is attached and that handle uh, at the balance wheel is used to get the fabric stitched. So you may have seen uh, this type of machine at your uh, home by using by your mother and grandmothers. So the, this is said as the hand operated sieving machine and also the single needle lock stitch machine. Then the second machine type of machine we ha have and we also seen this as the tailor's place we can we have generally seen these. So this is the treadle sieving machine. So why it is said as the treadle sieving machine because this machine is operated uh, using your feet ba like it is a type of uh, hand machine only uh, but it is operated by the feet. So this machine is placed on a stand as you can see in this picture this is how a treadle uh, sieving machine looks like. So when we talk we say the machine is placed on the stand that has a treadle on which the feet are placed. So we have a stand like or a table like structure uh, above that the machine is attached and below the table or the stand we have a treadle or a stand uh, like structure on which we keep our feet and when the feet is moved the machine operates. So this is uh, uh, the, that's why it is said as a treadle sieving machine. Then the forward and the backward movement of the feet helps to run the machine like if you have seen when uh, the person who is stitching he moves his feet forward and backward so the machine gets operated then it is the faster than the hand operated machine because if it it is uh, known that uh, very common thing when if some uh, machine we are operating by hand and when we are operating by our feet so it is very different and uh, this treadle machine we can say it is faster than the hand operated machine but slower than the electric which we will be discussing later electronic machines. Then uh, the one benefit we get in this treadle sieving machine is that our both hands are free. So because in the hand operated one of our hand is busy in uh, operating the machine and we have to handle the fabric while stitching with the one hand. So in this uh, benefit uh, with the treadle sieving machine we get that we have our both of the hands are free so we can handle the fabric very well the balance wheel is attached to the treadle with a belt like the treadle on which our feet is there there is one belt like structure we have which is attached to the balance wheel uh, as you can see in the picture on the right side there is a wheel uh, under the beneath the table uh, on that wheel a belt is attached to the balance wheel. So when we move our feet forward and backward the balance wheel moves and we can adjust the th like our needle or the thread uh, regulation according to that. So this is the uh, benefit with that our hand is free we operate the machine by feet so we uh, get a uh, more speed and uh, we can save our energy while uh, stitching the garment. So this is all about the treadle sieving machine. Then the third type of machine we use is the electric or motorized sieving machine. Nowadays uh, we can also find this motorized sieving machine for the domestic purpose and uh, we can uh, also have at the industry or the uh, tailor shop or the boutiques we can see 
and this this is very fast machine because if uh, in the earlier two in the one of them we are using our hand and uh, in one of uh, them we are using our feet so suppose if we are not using uh, any of our uh, energy human energy and we are using the machine which is uh, electronic based or motor based so it will be very fast so this is very fast machine and may be domestic use for the domestic purpose and the industrial purpose so the balance wheel is also attached to the motor with a belt as uh, you have seen in the uh, treadle sieving machine it is just you can say it is a modified and uh, advanced structure of the that treadle machine so there is a treadle which when pressed with your foot uh, helps to run the machine like in the treadle machine we have a treadle on the uh, below the table but in the electronic machine or the motorized machine as you can see this is how a motorized or electronic machine look like so in that we have a paddle like structure a instrument when uh, you keep the machine and you pe just press that uh, paddle with your foot then machine gets run then it is attached with a wire with the machine so there is a treadle or a paddle we say which is when pressed with your foot help to run the machine then some domestic sieving machine brands uh, like you always we have uh, heard about the name it is singer usha etc and we have the industrial machines also which runs very on a very high speed so this was all about the different types of sieving machine we have and we uh, use it uh, for the garment construction this is how in the first picture or uh, the left side picture it is like uh, we use it as a domestic place um, for the domestic use and the right picture of the machine we uh, use at uh, industrial or the like boutique purpose it is little higher than the domestic one so this is uh, was about different types of machine now when we have uh, known we know about that there are different uh, how many types of machines are there what are the different parts of a sieving machine we have so when we talk about different parts of the machine the basic structure and function of all the sieving machine is the same like if we have the three we discuss three types of machine whether it is different uh, method of operation is different but the function of the all the sieving machine is same so the main components are common to all of the three machines there are three major parts of the machine we have so first one is the machine second is the table and the third one is the stand so these are the three major part we have uh, common for all the sieving machines types of machines we discussed then uh, the machine we have or the sieving machine we uh, use for the stitching purpose it comprises of like uh, following uh, some important parts we uh, uh, use or we should know the first is the upright side back upright side so when you see a picture of a sieving machine as you can see in this picture so upright side when we say the upright side of the machine so you can imagine a machine in front of you and the most upright side of the machine you see is the balance wheel so balance wheel is the part which is we say as the upright side of the machine then we second part which uh, broadly we say as the arm of the machine arm of the machine when you see in this picture the uh, after the upright side we its uh, structure which is seem it seems like a arm or a arm uh, we say as a human body's arm or the machine's arm so arm part of the machine it have the oil guide from where we put the oil into the machine we have the uh, we have the spool pin where we put the spool on the machine we have the stitch regulator from where we regulate our stitch length and adjust the stitch regulate then we have the bed of the machine 
like we have the upright side we have the arm then we have the bed of the machine in the picture you can see the bed part we have the pressure food we have where we put the needle which is the below part of the machine so we have the feed dog there we have throat plate bed for the fabric of the need uh, to the needle so this is uh, the said as the bed part of the needle then we have the face of the machine so face of the machine have the thread take up lever tension screw needle bar pressure regulator and thread guide so as in the picture you can see the left side is the uh, face part of the machine where we have the thread guide we have the needle screw we have the uh, take up lever so all these in the part are on the face side of the machine then these are the these four are the basic uh, a broad part we can say of the machine so include in all these uh, other parts small parts includes under this broad part of the machine then features of domestic and industrial lock stitch uh, sewing machine we uh, what are the features we we can discuss so the common feature we found in the domestic and the industrial lock stitch machine is the first is the balance wheel we have which is very common in all the machine and it it should be there on the machine then we use the stitch length regulator which is very important to regulate the length of the stitch uh, then we have the thread guide thread guide is uh, followed to uh, insert the thread or to adjust the thread on the machine then we have the needle bar needle bar is uh, where the needle is attached for uh, the proceed for the uh, stitching purpose and we have the pressure bar and the pressure foot so pressure bar and pressure foot is used for the stitching and stitch regulation then we have the stay pressure regulator which regulates how much pressure should be there for the needle and the thread then we have the hand lifter we have the tension regulator feed dog throat plate and bobbin and bobbin case so these are the basic features or parts we uh, have in both the domestic and the industrial sewing machine apart from this there are different features we also have on the sewing machine which uh, we should know so like there is a back tack lever so back tack lever is used there is a lever or a uh, lever type uh, thing on the machine you will see so which is used to do the back tack thing which uh, locks the stitch when you have completed the stitching of a particular piece of fabric so this back tack lever is used to lock the stitch on the fabric then we have the knee lifter like when we have the uh, lifter also and then we have the knee lifter oil window from where we put the oil on the machine we have the three hole thread eyelids from where the thread passes to go into the needle we have the oil pen foot treadle and bobbin winder so bobbin winder is used to uh, fill the thread on the bobbin so this is uh, these are the different features or the different part of the machine which is also used uh, uh, while we operate a sewing machine so this is tools on a broad picture you can see and when you see a sewing machine you can correlate this is how the things or the feed dog needle clamp all these uh, in part of the machine looks like so this is uh, about the basic features and the parts of the machine when we talk about the machine how many parts let uh, discuss about uh, what part is used and what is the main function of that particular part so when we talk about a machine it consists of several parts which have different functions and which we should know very well so when we talk about the first part we discuss is the head head of the machine what is said it is the complete sewing machine without the stand is called the machine head when we have don't insert don't include the stand or the table part of the machine just the above part 
uh, it is said as the head of the machine. So it is the main sieving part of the machine that is above the table and it consists of various stitch forming parts as we discussed the, the balance wheel, the arm, arm portion of the machine, the face portion of the machine. All these uh, forms a different part which we will discuss now. Then we have the bed as we discussed the lower part of the machine it is set as the bed part. The working surface of machine is called the machine bed. So machine bed is the uh, part where we put the fabric to get it stitched. So the main function is to support the material to be sewn. As we discussed we put the fabric there, we have the needle, we have the thread. So it is the part where we put the material or the fabric to get it stitched. The various sewing attachment and to mount the lower mechanism. This is the bed part is very important to get it attached with the lower part of the machine. Then when we talk about the upright section of the machine, what all parts it comprises. So first we as we have also discussed uh, in the earlier slides that uh, the upright section comprises the first and the most important thing is the balance wheel or the hand wheel. So it is the part of the machine that controls the motion of the machine manually and or electrically like uh, in the hand operated machine we operate the balance with a balance wheel by hand but in the electronic or the treadle machine we operate with electrically or by uh, our feet so it uh, in an electric ma electric machine it is connected to a motor and is driven by a belt so as the balance wheel is rotated manually or electrically the machine runs. So the first and the most important part is the balance wheel which is used to get the machine started. Then we have the stitch length regulator. So, so stitch length regulator as you can see in the picture when you see a sieving machine there is a knob a round knob on the machine where numbers are written. So when you rotate that knob you can uh, by rotating uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise you can adjust the length of the stitch. So it is said as the stitch length regulator. So it is a device that regulates and adjusts the stitch length and it is used to vary the size of the stitch in the relation to the thickness of the material on the thread we use. So according to the fabric we are stitching and according to the design and the thread we adjust our stitch length. Then we have the reverse stitch lever as we have also talked about the back tack this is the same thing we are talking about it is the reverse stitch lever so it is also called as the back tack lever we have as you can see in the picture and the below the stitch length regulator the knob we have a st uh, we have a lever like structure when you are stitching the fabric and if you are done and the fabric is getting end just put that lever and do a stitching uh, so it gets it locked there. So it controls the direction of the fabric movement as soon as the lever is pressed down the direction of the fabric movement change. So when the movement change the threads get locked. So instead of moving back the fabric move uh, back the fabric move in front and so the so it is used to get double row of stitching to reinforce the end so that the stitch do not get open. So this is the purpose of the st reverse stitch lever to get the fabric or the stitch do not get open from the uh, our garment. Then we have the arm section when we talk about the arm section. It is the horizontal support of the machine that contains the mechanism of handling the upper head. So this is the main purpose of the arm, arm section is to handle the upper thread section like we have the two thread section on the machine the upper thread and the lower thread section when the upper th uh, thread we have the spool thread and the lower we have the bobbin thread. It is also used for the oil or the oil window part it contains from we from where we put the oil oiling of the machine we do. 
then uh, spool pin is there holding for the then we have the thread guide and thread eyelet we use on the machine then we talk about the face section it is the vertical support of the machine that uh, contains the mechanism for driving the needle and handling the upper thread so on the face sec section we have the needle bar uh, it is vertically vertical bar on which the needle is mounted we have the pressure foot which is the vertical the lower end uh, of which is attached to the pressure foot then we have the pressure foot the pressure foot holds the fabric uh, firmly down against the throat plate uh, thus preventing uh, we, which do not uh, let the fabric move from the needle we have the then uh, on the face section we have the pressure regulator also it controls the controls or regulates the amount of pressure exerted by the pressure foot on the fabric be, while we are stitching the fabric then we have the hand uh, pressure foot lifter it is located at the back of the machine and is used to raise uh, or lower the pressure foot so we, in that we have the tension regulator we have the tension disc there are two tension disc between which we thread is made or to get it passed then we have the tension nut it can be rotated clockwise and anti clockwise to increase or decrease the tension extruded on the needle thread then we have the take up spring throat plate and the feed dog on the face part of the uh, machine then there are some other parts we uh, see on the machine uh, which is very important so we have the oil pan or the oil tank where oil is put uh, uh, there to get the machine operate is very uh, fluently we have the bobbin winder we have knee pressure foot lifter foot treadle hook bobbin and bobbin case so these are the other parts of the machine which you should uh, keep in mind when you are operating the machine so this was all about the machine uh, different types of machine and machines uh, part of the machine so today we discussed different types of machine in which we discussed hand operated sewing machine treadle sewing machine and electronic sewing machine or motorized and we discussed about different parts of the sewing machine and their function to get the to know how the machine operates easily uh, you can operate easily now you can do you can see a sewing machine at your home just relate all the uh, parts we have discussed and then by uh, your own you can uh, correlate and know and understand each part of the sewing machine very well hope this session is informative for you thank you